All right, for today's experience at home kit tutorial, I will be showing you how to make photo infinity cubes. So first you're gonna lay out your cubes in front of you like this. They don't have to be horizontal, they can be vertical. And you're gonna take four pieces of duct tape and duct tape them as seen here. Be sure to really press down on the duct tape and make sure that the cubes are lined up where you want them. And, I, and we have the dimensions for the tape on the instruction card, but as long as it doesn't like swallow up the cubes or, you know, isn't enough tape, then I think it's fine. As you can see, some of my pieces of tape are the correct measurements and some of them are a little off but overall they're fine <laughs> and now you're going to flip them over so that you see the seam in between the cubes and you'll do that to all of them and then you'll take four more pieces of tape and do the same thing go over them and really press down so that the tape isn't going to come off granted the duct tape really will not want to come off after it's been situated, so keep that in mind. For the side, you're going to flip the cubes so that there's tape facing the outside and also there's a strip of tape on the inside as seen here. It sounds confusing, but when you see it, it's like, oh, that makes sense. And then you're going to flip the whole thing over to work on the back. You will not see seams, you will just see the spaces between the cubes. And now you'll take four more pieces of tape and put them on as seen here. Again, press them down. Then you'll flip your rectangle so that you see something like this. <laughs> your tape may look different. And then you're going to flip it into a cube as seen here. And then you're going to open it back up. And on some of these pieces, you can see the seam. And that's where you're going to put down four more pieces of tape. <laughs> All the tape. All right, now we're ready for the pictures. The pictures will be two by twos and two by fours. So you're going to go in and you can use a permanent marker or paint and just kind of go over the very edges of the cube. If you're worried about your picture not fitting perfectly, this will allow for there to be a seemingly seamless look. <laughs> and if you have the cutting skills that I have, you're going to need that outline. <laughs> so I just went through and roughly marked off where my cutting would be and cut the picture into four little squares and now I will glue them on with the Mod Podge. And you want a light to medium layer of Mod Podge on here. If you're using photo paper, which I don't really recommend, but if you are, maybe a thicker layer of Mod Podge. You're going to go in, make sure the glue does not drip down the sides of the cubes because you don't want your cubes to stick together. Really pat down the images. And then give the images a, a couple minutes to dry and then go over them with another layer of Mod Podge. This, wi this will seal in. If you don't have a paintbrush at home, you can totally just use your finger. I used my pinky for this one. Mod Podge dries clear for the most part, so you don't have to worry about seeing the white smears. And then you let it dry. Do, 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 Be sure to twirl your cubes a lot until the tape is flexible. And remember to let it dry completely before you open it up and start the next image. So for this one, I went ahead and did the 2x4. And I used one of the images that is provided by us. 
and we made them a little bigger so that you'd have more opportunity to trim them to make them exactly the way that you want them to look so this is something to consider they will be a little larger and if you're worried about cutting straight lines you can always fold the pages as I showed again if you're like me that may not save you <laughs> but just do your best do 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 And this is the finished product, y'all. Kudos to all of these artists that I found through Pinterest. I wish I knew who they were, but I do not. <laughs> and thank you to the library for providing images as well. Good luck on all of your crafting, and I hope you enjoy 